This box contains analog audio equipment. Warning. Caution. Only open under direct supervision of YouTube direct freaking uploader. This is a box that I got from JRC Studios or JR Studios, something, um, his name is John on YouTube. It's very nice what I got. It's a cart machine. Thank you, John. It's going to be awesome. I have never had a cart machine. I do have a cart, but not a cart machine. So this is going to be great. I really find those things hilarious. The uh, caution warning thing on it. Let's see. Uh, this part over here is a harder part. Let's see if I can just get this out of here. Oh wow, there's some... Oh, there's a cart right there, right at the top. Uh, uh, there we go. Nice. As we can see, there's a collection of carts visible in the top. Let's move the camera. It's cord constricted deal. There are many, many things. Play this after you get audio working on output for Ricky Klein. Got Master Cart 2 factory tested factory seals with hot tape. Monday on NC27. So I got I got plenty of carts. Let's see other brands. Well this one's coming apart. We've got to be careful about this one. This is a master cart right here. Um y'all have to do some work on with this cart. Pads are coming off and Oh, it's screw got loose, didn't, oh, the little part that holds the screw on had it popped off, the little plastic piece. But I got so many cards, it's going to be great anyway. So, this is, this is very nice. These are a lot of cards. These are last me. I was only expecting to get, like, maybe two or three cards, so this is great. I appreciate this. This is great. It's a whole lot of cards. So remember, this is an unedited video. I'll have to have this video done in parts have other videos show operation and stuff like that this card which is kind of I don't know if that was from shipping or if it was dropped or something but anyway this is um uh, audio pack cart with quality assurance it's a blue clear clear blue on the top solid blue 90 second 57 feet cart made in USA now these could also be compatible on four track machines. I don't have any four track, but they were common. I heard before the eight track by like months, Earl Madman months, if you want to research that. And these are the same kind of carts that were used for the four track cart format that came before the common eight track format. These carts are clear on the front and red on the bottom. So it's all kinds of different cards here. A ton of cards. Varying lengths probably. Wow, look at the years. It's 1994. This is crazy. I was three years old. Station IDs. AM and F. And that's going to be fun to hear. Wow, this is crazy, all these carts. Oh, this cart has really, really got hurt. It might have been during shipping. But then again, since I got so many carts, it's not that big a deal. Yep. Those shipping guys probably just tossed the box on around. This cart made it intact. This cart's intact. Here is a gray cart. Oh, gray on the bottom, clear on the top. Oh, wow, this is 
if you can see it good, a Fidela pack. I think this is the, ori the original type of carts that were on the were for the four tracks were made by the Fidela pack company, if I remember. Type of cart for the four track format. And these carts are three track actually, two tracks for the audio and another track for Q tones. Tell the machine whenever to stop. It's another Fidela pack cart right here. This is quite awesome. Cart, cart, cartridge. Cartridge. Tridge. This is from 1998. I'm asking a great, um, Stack of carts on the side of the box. Oh, wow, this is a very interesting cart. If you take a look at the way this cart's designed, the tape where it comes out of the middle, I don't know how well you can see. I want to turn this light off. The tape comes out of the middle of the spool and goes under the spool back around, and then it goes back through a little tensioner which goes back around the spool. That's a very interesting, it's like a two layer car. Imagine if 8-tracks were that well designed. Just imagine. I mean this car with a tensioner doesn't even have foam pads. Just imagine that. Imagine if 8-tracks were that well made. How nice that would be because you wouldn't have to ever worry about foam pads that go bad. But then again they could have just used foam that lasted. Okay, now, we uh, got the cart machine down here. I'll turn that light back on. I can't really see it good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to face the camera to the floor, to the messy floor. Get the box. Ah, put it right here. How many minutes? Okay, let's see. Some stuff right here, packing material stuff. has an XLR and the other side just goes to two wires, red and black wire. Wow, this one can run on either 120 or 240 volts. That's an interesting thing. International Tape Tronics Corp oh, slash 3M, wow. This is, this is a US device. It's from it's, Bloomington, Illinois, USA. Here's the front. The Omega. I wanna, you can't even see the front to show it to the camera. The Omega. See inside the head and everything. Start, stop, cue, record, and level. And it has a little nice VU meter on it with all the markings and everything. It. International Tapetronics. So it looks like he found the top cover. Assuming it's the same one that he showed in that YouTube video. Anyway, let's see. Packing material and pieces of broken cart are left in the box. So this is going to be pretty nice. I hope that it will work and everything. Just see what I can do about the XLR because I don't have any XLR jacks. I don't know if the other cord would also go to for audio or not. I could see if it does. Or I might be able to tap it right off the soldering joints on the circuit board. That would probably be good. Something like that. There's another cut cord right there that has four wires in it. It's cut like close to where it goes to a little clamp thing. 
at those circuit boards inside. Let's take a look at these circuit boards. Mm. This thing is heavy. An all metal case too. Built to last. Oh yeah. Look at all those electronics. It's quite awesome. And that's it for this video. I hope that it doesn't start at stop at 1031. Even though it's not all the way to the other minutes. I wanna to have to test it out and everything. Or could I just test it out right now without plugging it into an amplifier yet? I could do that. I have to undo this. Now, this part of the video might not get on here. If it does, that'd be a miracle. Because the fact that the other two videos that I tried doing, which should have been one being 15 minutes long, one being 14 minutes and 45 seconds long, only ended up being 1031 and 1030 respectively, which annoyed the crap out of me. I mean, the crap just, the crap was inside of me, and it, the crap was was doing fine, the crap was secure, the crap was there, everything was normal. The annoyance was so intense that the crap just came right out. The crap was released. Let's try out to make sure those wires aren't shorting. Make sure none of the wires are shorting. Make sure those four wires on that cut thing aren't shorting. And let's try a cart. Let's see. I guess he just took a cart inside. This is a long cart. Try to find a shorter cart. It's a longer cart. I'll try this cart right here. Let's see. I don't know if there's a power switch I'm missing or something. But it's not activating. My power strip is turned on. I'm not sure what's going on. Why it won't activate. So I don't see any power switches on it, so I'm assuming that it would be activated by a car. But anyway, that'll be it for this video.